this is a beautifully carved doorway that I stopped and pulled my camera out for. I'm en route down to see La Moneda. But this is carved in wood and it's Don Quixote. And there's the Don in full regalia. And here is the Don as we often see him. Here's an elaborate doorknob. Gracias. And here is Pancho munching away on something. And here is the same thing, only in reverse and mirror image, but otherwise I believe identical. If I were still into this kind of stuff, I would seriously consider coming back here and trying to negotiate for these doors. As they are excellent. I'm guessing that this is the king and queen of Spain. An old building in the state of ready to fall down, but with a wood facade at the top. And probably could be very nice homes inside. Way up here along this street for a couple of blocks, and then one more block behind me as I pan around is an informal like uh, swap meet or yeah flea market kind of thing then down there it looks like it's a little bit more organized and then since i'm lost i'm wandering in this direction i generally know where i'm going i think yeah, this is the uh, regular kind of market produce and all that stuff kind of what we saw yesterday only in a different location different day they're men singing as they work on their produce and setting up their stalls there's the classic means of conveyance here. Probably been used for who knows how many years. Where all this comes from, whether it's just from Chile, whether it's from around here, whether some of it's from, you know, Bolivia, um, Peru, Argentina, I don't know. But there's almost anything you could want here as a housewife. And excellent quality, although there's some variation. An old Chevy truck. And there, just a whole rack of the conveyance carts and then about three blocks of the groceries and vegetables and fruits and other miscellaneous stuff and these people move from one place to another because I enthusiastically said good morning to a lady and her co-worker who were speaking just a little bit of English and very happy and proud to do so and I the same with my little Spanish This is Librador Bernardo O'Higgins Avenue. Hasn't been developed into the majestic double street, if you will, of Buenos Aires. But nevertheless, in this particular part, a very pleasant uh, park-like area, which offers some refuse. I don't know whether Chacabuco is a war or battle or whether it's an individual. I think it's the former. This is Palacio La Moneda. Uh, moneda meaning mint. This was the original mint. Uh, it was heavily damaged um, during the revolution, but uh, was rebuilt after Chile became democratic. And is now uh, the state federal offices of the uh, president who does not reside here. And here a pretty little fountain garden that then drains off, not only over the edge, but apparently out between the rocks, uh, the layers of the wall.
thought this gate uh, entrance was worth noting. It's the Ministerio de Obras Publicas, Minister of Public Works. I don't know what this building is, but it's a beautiful building at the top in particular, where the creativity really comes alive. One wonders what the purpose of that cupola balcony, if you will, was, but in and of itself it's a beautiful piece of work. Sunday is a great time to travel around and see the sights and do the walking tour of a city because early in the morning nobody's here. Even during the day there are a few. It's a well-maintained building, whatever its function. Beautiful metalwork, the balconies. It's like pigeons up there, I think. There's that building, and now I'll pan from it past this array of Chilean flags um, to um, the front, I think now, of the uh, Moneda with a very large courtyard perhaps used for formal government ceremony. I don't know what this building is, but something that's interesting is the front entry doors and then at the top are these um, cer uh, these cement carvings or reliefs or whatever you want to call them. I'm getting the sense that they reflect the industries or the livelihoods of, uh, of Chile or at least uh, the workers and the trades. A monument to Portales, whoever that was, but in Roman regal garb, he's memorialized. If people could see how they were to be memorialized or not, would they do more or less in life? For example, Dave, who did so much with the city, uh, would it affect him? Him, I know it would not affect. Others, I don't know. To the left of the Moneda, uh, what I would think of as a 30s skyscraper anywhere in the States, and then something newer up here, with some kind of interesting architectural, almost an allusion to Greece, it seems like. This is the entrance to Banco, to Banco Central de Chile. And just a view down one of the streets going towards Plaza de Armas, where I will go to the Columbia, pre-Columbian Museum and the National Museum. This is Bacedano Plaza which is really just a traffic interchange and circle, but an opportunity for monument, and that looks like very park-like over there. There's another park-like plaza, and extends way, way down there. I'm not going that way, at least I don't think I am. Here's what looks like a dramatic statue laden with pigeons for Manuel Rodriguez. Pigeons certainly do take away from the uh, drama. This is some kind of a museum here, but it's closed right now. Um, and this is the park. My normal way of finding out where I am when I'm lost is find an intersection, then look on the map and see where I am. So where I am is to go back where I came from here a block or so, turn right and go across the freeway, for lack of a better term, and up to um, where I'm trying to go, which is uh, Cerro San Cristobal. Here's one of the giant new buses that they have now. 
this an impressive new skyscraper. Interesting design at the top, which is where it appears most of the design is, other than at the entrance. It's cold today, cloudy like it was yesterday and cold. Somewhat sterile without water in the pools. They are have put some rose bushes in, but then it is fall. I assume to whom the obelisk is uh, dedicated to. know who that is maybe I can find out in the guidebook don't know what this is for don't feel like walking around the other side to find out <coughs> this is the river that runs through town some murals on the side over to the right there is uh, another side channel that funnels water in from who knows where. Standing in a little park right near the bridge I just crossed over. It also has a little flea market that sets up there. Probably includes produce and everything else for this local area. There's a church that attracted my attention. Churches are some of the most pronounced older artifacts of a society, particularly in Catholic countries. This is a relatively modest church, but with some nice light architecture, given that it's stone and cement. Ave Maria, I don't know if that's the name of the church. This is an instantly quiet little neighborhood right off the main drag and the noise of that. Apparently this is Barrio Bella Vista. Which is supposed to have lots of good little restaurants. Just keep com panning completely around. You'll see some color here, some design elements. And the sound of the man hammering. Everything here looks newly painted, like it's the neighborhood goal. Love these colors, rich blue, the turquoise and purple. Kind of an off-Broadway back street. Uh, theater. If I ever came again, I think I'd get a hospital down here. Is, other than that little rest, that restaurant there has a bunch of discotheques in it, including the big red one down there that I videoed, and this old elegant home. 
converted into a discotheque. How the original owner would have been surprised. I'm hoping it's over there that I get access to the Funicular and uh, Cerro Cabo Cristobal. Up higher there is what looks like a bird aviary, aviary, however you pronounce it, aviary. Now uh, there's the funicular at the top. So guess what? <laughs> it's probably at the bottom. This entrance to the park looks like a nice setting for the nice looking homes or apartment complexes that there are here. Plus the closeness to restaurants. It kind of reminds me of Balboa Island without being quite the level of quality. If I ever built a house in the stronghold one of the reasons would be to use magnificent colors like this. For example, depending upon the price, you might stay here in this hotel, which looks very interesting. But anything here just gets you into the area would be what I would do. day in Chile and it still amazes me that I'm just spending the day doing this kind of thing. Karen Connolly Dance School. Some rough kind of cartoonish stuff here. like a little Western Americana, but it shouldn't be, not here. Gotta love these colors. These colors would work well in the old towns of the United States. This looks like it might be a restaurant. Damn, I wish I'd have gotten a hostel down here. This looks like a particularly old building, just painted to keep it alive, at least on the outside. You can see up there what it looks, used to look like. I can only imagine what that archway was for. Maybe a series of archways accessing into the adjacent building or something. Properties are converted to whatever use the person thinks they can make of it if they got the money to do it. It does add a certain interesting variety of uses and buildings and sounds and probably smells. If you have to be halfway sedentary in a somewhere in the world there are many places. Here looks like a what could be an elegant beautiful home on the inside behind those gates uh, blanketed or not I mean bracketed by the ivy on the right and these beautiful flowers on the left very much here a sense of community although I'm sure it's pretty lively at night this looks like an old house that's about Although it's obviously outside, quite capable of being sold and really upgraded nicely. Well, I'm up at uh, Cerro San Cristobal. Uh, nothing terribly exciting because uh, there's the 
fog with maybe a mixture of smog in here, I don't know for sure. Um, the main benefit today, I guess, is to have been here and to go up that funicular. Whether I'll find more up there of any interest other than tour stuff, I don't know, but we'll go see. Down there, near that big building, is where I started the morning. be precise right over there somewhere pretty little plaza out in front of this uh, chapel This has been an operation. Notice the stairs in case you have to maintain it or walk out. This is Santa Filomena Parroquia. I don't know why, but it seems to have a Spanish or Dutch or something to it. But. many as you'd think in this city. I'm not sure I've seen one bit other than this one. And it's Monday, that's the uh, Mercado Central, and it's Monday and it's the afternoon, so there may not be anything of excitement over here. We'll go find out. Don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. I think it's a theater, perhaps, but just had an interesting experience. I'm walking across the street. All of a sudden, some lady says hello to me or something like that. Turns out to be the two ladies that I had seen in two different markets, uh, street markets, selling their produce on Saturday and Sunday. Now they're beautifully dressed and they're downtown in a totally different area and we run across each other. Talk about serendipitous coincidence. Or is that redundant? 
detail on this building is just incredibly. Having got lost and found myself at a recognizable place, La Moneda. It would be interesting to see how it is when it's occupied by the people who use it every week, every day of the week. Now I know where I'm supposed to go. Here someone's created a RV type thing using I think maybe even the same Ford that I had in the first one that I bought from Dave Armstrong for $1,500. <laughs> you can only wonder what's inside of it. There's his water supply. I think that's sufficient. This is one of the most ornate churches I've seen in color. I don't know what you call this design, although I kind of recognize it. It's just a block away from my hostel. One of the redeeming features of this area. It's ornateness and the way it's designed this motif on top of Whatever it is reminds me of some of the China, the Delft China, I think it is. This is a pretty park that I hadn't bothered to find, Plaza Brasil. Palm trees, Brazilian pigeons, lots of benches. Some interesting kind of playground for kids. Strange, fanciful sculptures. Pretty old blue with my lifetime favorite color. I think a rather elegant looking balcony. Someone's even drawn on the tree without terribly maligning it. So a block away from my hostel is this nice park and uh, a little area so far that redeems itself from what my first impression was for the first few days. I think I'd still go to Bella Vista. This is interesting, a roller board uh, facility, quite a well-made one actually. So far more comfortable, safer, without the edge ambience to it. I wonder what kind of thrush this is. The root of this tree is interesting. 
Yeah, I think it's that tree that has the uh, seed pods on it. In fact, as you look up there, you can see them. So this, as the lady told me, is the baobab tree from Africa. Looks like something right out of The Hobbit.